So we're back in the booth. Now it's best to be talking about it. We're waiting for the finals to start. Uh, finals are going to be between Roberto Marchetti with uh, Grixis Delver and uh, Angelo Cadet with Miracles. They played in the Swiss already um, and Cadet won uh, easily. quite easily. And to be honest with you, um, we saw this kind of attitude from Marchetti, kind of, you know, happy to be there on 3-0. Um, you know, I'm, play, I'm, play, yeah, I'm facing a decent opponent, so I don't really mind losing, blah, blah, blah. I'm already happy to be here. And um, it's not exactly the same thing now. I mean, we overheard him um, sitting at the table. Already with, the yeah, yeah, I'm already in the finals, blah, blah, blah. Already lost in the Swiss. Um, I might, you know, he already beat me in the Swiss. He's going to beat me again, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, he doesn't, doesn't really have, you know, the, the, the winning mentality, attitude kind of thing. So, um, <laughs> if, if I had to put my money, um, you know, on either of them, I would probably go for a yeah. Kadai quite easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, what else? About the matchup, uh, as we said, uh, Miracle is, is in a good shape also because uh, uh, Roberto doesn't play his recovery therapies, he doesn't. He, he's, got to, he's got to have a, a very fast plan here, uh, Roberto, to. But beyond, being that Roberto only condition of winning is creatures, uh, and as we said, Miracle is very strong against Hitos. So he's got three terminus, he's got four sword to plosher, he's got a snapcaster mages, he's got counsel judgment, he's got GJs to bounce when. So if, if Roberto is not very quick to manage to put uh, Delver and Pyromancer or that right Pyromancer token, uh, it wanna be it wanna be very comfortable against uh, uh, the, the toughness of the, of the Miracle deck, but in this kind of matches, control of his control is, is more efficient because he's got uh, less dead cards. Yeah, I mean, the Miracle uh, deck really, really game. deals well against creatures. That's the thing. I mean, yeah. uh, Roberto yeah, doesn't Benton. have any permanence. He has a single ton uh, Sulfuric Vortex in the sideboard, which is probably yeah. really good. Uh, but it's Especially, the only yeah, it's the, it's the only card uh, that can really cause trouble to uh, to Kadai. The thing is, the Miracle deck only has a one uh, wear tier, which is you know it might uh, not sideboard in against the Grixis Silver, yeah, and also one um, Council Judgment main deck. So going you know yeah, post sideboard Delver going like a, a land have. you know a, a land one two into a turn uh, a turn to um, a Sulfuric Vortex could be like a really good play. Yeah, he's good. Roberto to be to be uh, indefinitely uh, he's got to he's got to put a, a very strong pressure and since the first turn playing immediately a delver or that right shaman and then starting his strategy or otherwise it's gonna be very difficult. The other the other plan for Roberto is uh, using the stifle Wasteland Days plan, but it's not so easy as we told because uh, Angelo plays five basic lands because uh, it, it tends to uh, with the, with the stop uh, with the brainstorms tends to find lands, so it's not easy to to add to uh, to, to put in from also because Roberto plays only two stifles, so it's not four stifle four daisies and four wastelands and and so on so let's see but just i don't see roberto com I yeah I don't, I don't i don't see him winning this but just you know just as a general overview um we had we had the vintage on uh, friday vintage and standard on sa on friday um we have we had the legacy today we're gonna have modern tomorrow uh you know kind of the same time the tournament starts at 10:30 a.m. We're gonna be on uh, live and online 1:30 um, p.m. for round four um, or round five. It depends on you know the length of the tournament. Um, and then after this, this is the first stop of the five uh, because we have we're gonna have more tournaments in Porto, Paris, uh, Barcelona, and Prague. Um, and every single tournament will have four major events. Uh, with Vintage, Standard, Legacy and Modern and every single event uh, the winner will get a flight ticket to um, a Star City Game Invitational. Uh -huh. it's, uh, yeah, 
we, sh- we see Angelo in a shape to win this ticket, but you can never say because Roberto, after the toilet break, uh, it seems like reju- re- in a way more focused. And maybe yeah, now it's it, it, finally it, 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 doesn't it's have, cleared up the time. Yeah, it's, it's cleared and it, it's, not, it's got nothing to lose. Because uh, yeah, he definitely he's already in the final. He's, he's already, already in the final. He's already happy to be there. Yeah, he's already happy to be. And maybe he will play. I mean, uh, yeah, he's gonna have no pressure. But then yeah, again, no pressure. You know, mm. If 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 I'm in Kadai's seat, I know that I can exploit that. You know, I can exploit the fact that you know my opponent, you know, is already happy to be there. He's not very like focused and you know. Focus yeah, on that's for this, sure. You know I mean? That's for sure. Uh, but anyway, um, and, and and you know these kind of opponents, they do feel the pressure. You know, they do feel. Oh, I'm playing against you know the best miracle player. You know, I'm just gonna assume that he has everything, that he's got answers to everything, and I don't want to uh, look stupid and overcommit to, uh, um, let's say, uh, a terminus or something like like he's done in in the Swiss. You know, in the Swiss, do you remember? He, he didn't he didn't play. Yeah. Um, yeah. He didn't try to protect his uh, pyromancer, pyromancer yeah. from a sword's plosures, um, which which turned out to be just like a huge mistake. Mm. Yeah, but I think that if you I mean, if you fear, uh, um, I mean, if you, if an opponent has uh, a top already and uh, a quite board, you can fear, you can play around the terminus. But you cannot play around the terminus with the opponent who have one land in play, and you and you can basically put five damages clock. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he totally misinterpreted what, what his deck needs to do against miracles. Um, and he didn't didn't have a solid plan. Also, uh, he has a few dead cards as well. He has yeah. four lightning bolts and four uh, and two um, four, four bolts. bolts. I mean, not the dead, the, the most not dead the cards. Dead, like you can like try and kill a Jace, but uh, you know it's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, no, because usually when Miracle puts uh, puts down Jace, uh, it's, it's kind of. I mean, the game is nearly over that's why you need to put pressure yeah you, you know miracle is never gonna put down a chase uh, unless it's an open board yeah or unless there's only maybe one delver or something you can just try play chase yeah. bounce but the, okay it just doesn't happen now we are sitting on the table uh, okay ready to start finally this is a final between angelo and uh, roberto and um, let's see how it's happening uh, Angelo managed to, to beat Marco Camilluzzi but he lost against in the Swiss with Lohm as we, we when we saved the match before and now he just defeated the, the um, uh, just defeated Nicola Omnitel. Marchetti with Omnitel in a, in a close third, third match in which basically uh, the Omnitel player started with Boseju uh, first turn Boseju and everyone said uh, okay for Angelo is quite is quite uh, over because uh, facing a Boseju turn one but then Angelo uh, managed to win uh, with a uh, wear and tear on omniscience uh, in response of a trigger uh, of the omniscience he put a snapcaster mage and having a priority he would do a wear and tear on the omniscience before his opponent can manage to put an Amrakul into play. And so, uh, and instead Roberto was able to beat a, um, a dredge deck with uh, racing, with racing him in the first turn and then with graveyard date and then he beat it like we saw before uh, the, um, the, storm deck. the storm deck with 2-0. This match also we saw before here in, in, the, in the wood. So now <coughs> we are a final confrontation. Angelo is really, uh, I mean, <laughs> in this in this tournament is is very effective. How can you say? Every time he's get results, is is trained to 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 achieve. Uh, 
he's also con he's very concentrated and focused and it's definitely the favorite for us but Roberto also I think when he when he comes down to the cyborg he have some chance with the therapies with an elemental blast to to do something okay so we here we are I don't know if they decided something about the flight but this is a, doesn't matter the now they are deciding the winner of a tournament. There's only there's only one thing in Marketi's favor, which is basically he's gonna play first on game one. Yeah. That that's the only thing I can come up with. Yeah. Um, you know, let's I, see. I, I, can, let's, I can see. I can see. Him, I can see him winning a game with like a stifle on a fashion and maybe a daze. Uh, and maybe a wasteland, uh, but yeah, that's, that could that's be just, strange. Yeah, just, no, yeah. the other uh, option is land the tree shaman, land uh, pyromancer and spell, putting their clock to to Angelo. Otherwise, will not be easy. Anyway, Marchetti with uh, Marchetti <laughs> with uh, his Italian flag. He keeps and is a. Is a very control end with a, a probe, a brainstorm. Cadet is already taking a mulligan. Mulligan for Angelo Cadet. Twist in the plot. <coughs> Cadet does seems. He a, does he have a stifle? Does he have a stifle in his hand? Cadet seems a Caravaggio picture. The face signed by the battles. Is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Cadet seems a Caravaggio picture. San Girolamo. <laughs> okay, Cadet keeps his hand and scry and Marchetti. Now we play. Does he have a turn one player? Okay, so Proof. we can actually see what, what <laughs> Cadet is playing with. Uh, right, Cadet is playing with an island, um, a flooded strand, active force of will, uh, with Jade's brainstorm. Yeah, he's a got a decent so hand. I mean, it's a pretty solid hand. Yeah, he's got a, a counter spell, he's got a closure, he's got an answer to two double answer to a, a, a five star, a, fi a fast start. From Robert. Roberto doesn't have a critter. And now So we, we can we can already tell he doesn't have stifle, because otherwise he would have fetched first. Yeah. <coughs> Rather tell. <laughs> That's, that's I don't already, know. That's I, don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Angelo knows that uh, Roberto plays stifles. Yeah, he didn't play stifle in the Swiss. Yeah, so maybe he doesn't. Maybe also Angelo doesn't know. Otherwise, we, you probably you will, if I want Angelo, we'll play the fetch. Okay, now Roberto with a brainstorm he reveals. Uh, he gives him two creatures, I think, Death Red Shaman and Delver also. So, some, some element to, to try to attack Angelo and try to, uh, to, to aggress his opponent. It does, it does have a taste for sure, it does have a force of will. So whatever, whatever creature is going to play now, it should stick. Yeah, stifle. Oh, that's now a good, that's a good is, one. Is good. That's a really good one. And it says go. It says go. So it says go instead of dropping Delver. That, that is actually yeah. very interesting. Yeah, because he's hoping that Angelo. Yeah, go here. So now, if he if he doesn't draw a land, then does it just go discard? I don't know. Does it go ponder? I mean, did this plan is just. Oh my god! I, I just I don't I don't even. Yeah, his plan is to try to stifle a land. Yeah, and, and and he's trying to do so by, like, discarding. 
Yeah. Um, what, what he could do now, Richie, right? He could he could take one blue mana and he could daze the brainstorm. Yeah. And that's that's what he's trying to do, I think. And then stifle the fetch. Yeah. These are these are good. Play. What, 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 I, what I don't like what I don't like about this play is, um, you know, you could have just pondered and try to look for a land. Yeah, and do you know, it's, it's do the same thing yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a really risky play. Yeah, and of, of course, like against a deck like Miracles, you don't really want to discard the card. You know, you mm. want to use all all your resources. Yeah, no, but the now, um, obviously, Angelo uh, for uh, made force will on the day on the stifle. And Roberto counter forces pitching another stifle, I think. So Brainstorm doesn't resolve and Roberto. Well, Roberto no, he's just gonna what? succeeded in his did plan. He, eh? did, didn't he have a Delver? He had a Delver, but now did he, prefers did to he ponder. Pref did he prefer to ponder rather yeah. than play Delver? Yeah. Yeah, he also knows that uh, uh, Angelo has got a pros has got a pro, sure. Yeah, but he just stifled his fashion. Yeah. He doesn't have a white man. No, we see Angelo playing around days, number two. What I, do, what I don't understand from Market is why doesn't he want why to play this Delver? Why does he want to play to put any pressure down? Yeah. Yeah, then you can do whatever you want. The thing is, being stuck on one land, you can only play one spell per turn. Yeah. Yeah, if he did play now, he's Delver Wasteland. <laughs> we have uh, some Dante on the on the line, the best <laughs> spammer of the channel, and uh, many many greetings and ciao to some Dante. Um, so Roberto, with a Gourmet Gangler, this is, this is definitely <laughs> yeah. This, one. this is interesting. This is interesting. I think he has a backup. Uh, okay. Yeah, right, he's gonna go for it. Yeah, he's, he's Angelus got, he doesn't have white mana. He does have a terminus though. Yeah. He does have a terminus. So Those. if we see a white source here, that's that's a terminus next turn. <laughs> okay. So that's, yeah, that that's a terminus coming next turn. <laughs> so. Yeah, Fetchland, so a Terminus coming out, reveals a Brainstorm, so the, the Delver flips. And now Angelo cannot fetch for Plosher now. Does he have a Stifle? I think he has another Stifle, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. I hope so. I hope for him. No, that's a Ponder. Actually. Ponder. No, the other Stifle, he pitched to a Force Wheel, I think. He's got to find um, a force wheel really here. Lightning uh, balls, balls, not the best card. Yeah, not definitely not. But I mean, he might, he might think that a couple of lightning balls is not too bad. Because if you think that uh, your opponent is gonna swear to blow shares your um, your five five, mm -hmm. then by fetching he goes down to nine. Uh, obviously, terminus is really not the card you want to see. You wanted to see a source of closures here. And then that would, you know, Kade would have been dead. Because it would be going down to nine, source of closures on the 5-5, five, five, end of turn lightning bolt, un untap lightning bolt. And that's yeah. probably why he kept those two lightning bolts. Yeah. But uh, playing against Terminus now, uh, what happens is he's stuck with two cards that do absolutely nothing. Yeah. So now Roberto, um Letting the terminus resolve and putting the creatures in the back of the bottom deck. And now Angelo passes the turn. Roberto end of turn, blighting bolt on Angelo, bringing him to six. And now Roberto has got a bolt, a daze, and a brainstorm. Instead, Angelo he's got four mana now, probably a jace or. I can see a source of closure. Jace. Is it just gonna play days here? Yeah, he's gonna play days. It could be like floating one red and playing days. Or he's just gonna float. You one know, he's got sort of float one blue. Well, it doesn't, oh, I didn't wanna play Brainstorm. I like this Pro. play. I like this play. If he finds, if he finds um, 
a second bolt, maybe he can finish the game off. Yeah. Counter the spell, the counter is judgment. He's, he's playing against the counter spell. Yeah, you get. Ooh, oh, that's a pyromancer. Pyromancer is interesting. Yeah, but Angelo has got towards the sword to blow. Yeah, yeah you got, you're, already, you're already trying to like. He passes um, the turn. Yeah. Yeah, because he, maybe he want Angelo to play. Uh, he's got now cancel judgment, counter spell, and pressure. The good thing about um, you know, if you're in market position here, you know exactly what Kade is playing with. So you know that you need to get rid of that counter spell, and you need to get rid of the sword yeah. pressures. So. Yeah, no, you know, he, you know, he didn't drop I, I, I don't understand why he didn't play a land here. Ah, uh, because he wants to play brainstorm and reshuffle. Your response here to the counterbalance. Brainstorm. No, no, that's interesting. Bolt. This is interesting. Yeah, definitely. Definitely interesting, yeah. This, this is interesting. He, he could actually win the game here. He, if he played... Um, if he played the Volcanic Island, he could have won this game. If he played the Volcanic Island, he would have won this game. Response. I can tell you exactly where he lost this game. Um, if, he played, if, he, play. if he played Volcanic Island here, um, he would have Volcanic Island. And he could have just double bolted yeah. in response to like a fashion or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now he knows that he's playing against um, against a counter spell. Mm -hmm. He's playing against a counter spell. And now Roberto. <coughs> uh, but, but I mean, his game plan is not too bad because now what he can do is literally try to drop the. Um, Pyromancer. Um, so I took the Pyromancer. The problem is now, um, Kadei could just be lucky and flip something on top of the counter Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, adding, adding, adding counterbalance in the mix make basically means that, mm -hmm. um, you know, you might as well just flip. Pyromancer and Kadei flips. Oh my god, this is huge. This is huge. Yeah. It Absolutely is. huge. This quite, was quite a lucky move. Also because he does, now he's got yeah, another counter Now he does have two counter spells active. Yeah. Now Roberto is, the, got is, there, is there a coming back, um, coming back from here? I don't know. Especially because Kadei is at 3. Mm. So Forkball doesn't doesn't do the trick anymore. Yeah, there are secrets. Snapcaster mage here. He wants to um, snap cast a uh, brainstorm or something? I don't think. I see. He does have a brainstorm in the graveyard, so he probably, so he probably just wants to uh, snap cast a brainstorm. Yeah. Brainstorm in response to the Delver. Yeah. I think, I think he had the window to win the game. Yeah. Um, and he, did he, did, he, did, he didn't play Volcanic Island and he could have just tried to, um, mm. you know, tried to sneak mm. the bolt in mm. at some mm. point. Mm. Mm. Especially considering there was a window in which uh, Kadei only had one blue open and a fetch land. Yeah, um, now he's got so a top he, one. He, he could have, he could have definitely now. tried to sneak that. Uh, now we have a top over there because it's game over. Yeah, I think I think he kept the two bolts as I said, um, just because he was only playing around swords of plowshares. Um, he wasn't playing around terminus at that point. Um, in, in all fairness, if your opponent doesn't have um, Terminus and only has a Swords of he goes down to 9 fetching um, and then you can, know, you, can, uh, you can end up with Delver and Double Bolt. I mean, I, I don't like the move, but I, I, no, I see where he's coming I think from. It, it, you know, I think he cannot win with Double Bolt because when he plays Counterbalance, he's got... The no, that's only one the yeah, they're, the they're asking in the chat when, when he went Ponder uh, into Random Spell, Bolt, Bolt. Mm -hmm. At that point, Kadei was at 10. Yeah. Um, and he kept the You know, and he kept the two bolts on top. Yeah. So, you know, no, the, the not only reason. No, not, not a bad choice. I mean, bad it's choice. The, only, the, only, the only thing is, is thinking about is if he doesn't have Terminus and he only had Source of shirts, then, you know, he's basically dead. Yeah, but also in this case, with the Terminus, he risked to win. 
Yeah, you still still nearly got there. Yeah. I mean, we got closer than we thought. Now we're forced with Roberto on the mentor, I think. No, no, on the sensei. What is he on sensei top? And uh, now the game is basically over. Mm. I think the window in which Roberto uh, risked to win is when he's got double bolt and Angelo was at six and was putting down the balance. But in, even if Roberto dropped the second volcanic, he can respond with the first bolt, but the second bolt Angelo could fetch for the second blue and encounter the second bolt. So going to two live and putting the balance in play anyway. So I think Roberto is... This is you cannot win this game anyway for the cards they draw. Maybe the only thing you can do is, is reshuffle that ponder with double bolt. But at, the, at that time he didn't know that uh, Angelo had terminals. He thought he got only a closure and he thought I, I, I lost the angler, three damage of the elder and six damage of bolts. Maybe it was that the, the think Roberto thought, but anyway. Just gonna go for Bolt. He yeah. tries a bolt and the counter spell arrives. I think he's game over here because Roberto is at six. Two, four, six damage. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay. So, as you preview, as we previewed, um, <coughs> Angelo was able to win the first game. Um, not a particular uh, issues. Uh, classic game in which. Um, Miracle have a better, better quality, better cards, better strategy overall, better, better synergy between the cards in the deck. So, uh, someone was asking uh, why have Zoro on my back. Uh, no, it's like a Trespian stage. <laughs> it's, it's like uh, uh, something like. A Roman cloak, uh, let you say on my back, it's like... Uh, no, I was saying that um, not a particular... Um, uh, I mean, the Miracle deck is very, very, very strong against creatures deck because you have plenty of ways to get rid of a, of a recount of creatures. So it's not easy for a creature deck to, 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 to deal with Miracle unless the only strategy, and Roberto almost succeeded in this, is to try to don't give Miracle the access to, the, to white mana. And Roberto is almost tried to, to almost uh, succeeded in uh, with that play with uh, the days and the stifle um, to, to, to slow down a lot Angelo in the beginning of the game, but at the same time, Roberto, to do that strategy, he missed two or three land drops that committed his, um, I mean, his, his mid game because he's always been with one land, two land maximum, and uh, for for dealing with that strategy. So <coughs> basically, this strategy is efficient if you have already have a critter in play that is dealing, that is doing constantly damages, that is putting pressure. If you don't have um, a critter in play or a creature or damages in play, you can you cannot um, you cannot set um, a, a control strategy against Miracle because Miracle is got Jace, he's got a more efficient deck, and every card is so energy. And as soon as he as he finds the top. Uh, or the, or the balance or the jays uh, is able to to get co to get in control of the game. So now Roberto is boarding out is uh, evidently boarding out four cards, giving an indication to Angelo, a free <laughs> a free suggestion to Angelo. He's boarding out the bolts. 
that I can agree. But why keeping in the forked bolts? Uh, maybe he already boarded out forked bolts. Hope so, because sh sh for sure forked bolt uh, is very worse than uh, lightning bolt. Is that a rock music here? I don't know from where. Yeah, Marchetti now is 0 3 against Angelo. We'll see, we'll, let's see if we'll be able to. <coughs> let's look a quick look at the chat. Panzer Cock. Panzer Cock is <laughs> So, Madante, you've not you you you've got a panzer cock. You've got a little cock. <laughs> and don't try to, to <laughs> don't try to hide against uh, with other surnames or nicknames. You know, we know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we you got we, we got your IP. So <laughs> don't try to, to to catch. So now second game. Um, Roberto will gonna start, and as, as before, he got to hopefully put a pressure <laughs> since the first turn on, uh, on Sono solo un ragazzo divertente da scritto. I'm just a gigolo. I'm just a gigolo. Mm, ok, so... David? Did he sideboard it out the bolts as, at least? Like, yeah, the bolts, yeah. Does, does he have a clue what is coming? I don't know. He Did showed the, how much I'm sideboarding out. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take out exactly <laughs> these seven cards. Exactly. And I'm gonna sideboard in exactly the same card. Let me show you how many cards I'm gonna sideboard in and out. <laughs> you know, these four, you know, can you guess these what these four, four are? are? You know, they're probably Mine. camel therapies, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, it, before, in the, you, you weren't aware in the interview I did with Roberto, he doesn't believe in the therapies. He doesn't like the therapies. If he so the therapies are good, are only against the combo deck. So why does he even play this deck? I don't know. I mean, the only, the only reason for playing this deck is, you know, the interaction it's between the Texan Probe uh, and like Cabal the, Therapy the and the... Uh, the tire decks, it was the only one that he thought, okay, it's quite easy to me to play. But it's not it's an easy, easy deck to play, so... No, it's not an easy deck, but he thought so. So... Well, if you don't play the therapies, you definitely make it easier. Yeah. <laughs> So Roberto, a decent end, I think. With Ponder, with Force Wheel, with uh, Pyromancer. Rock music at... Uh, ah. the yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the, stream, the streaming position is... Uh, it's not easy. The booth is very close to the theater match table, so they had, to, to, they had to put some, um, you know, some music just to yeah, cover. Yeah, practically the players are com I'm constantly underpawned by rock music at uh, high level, so Roberto is gonna be even more distracted. Uh, <laughs> now we can find his life points. So, <laughs> probe now on uh, Angelo Sand. He's got decent hand against Kratos again. With Red Elemental Blast, uh, uh, you got a couple of ponders, couple of ponders, plosures, and Jason. So, oh, again, again, he only has like one basic planes and a fetch land. So a stifle would be really good here. Yeah. Let's see if Roberto got it. Um, Roberto. Stifles here, really good, but he only plays two of them. Yeah. Waste. Yeah, only two stifles. Mm. Yeah, at the end of turn, Roberto, you can brainstorm here, and it will do. No. The thing is, if you're sitting on Stifle, you cannot really brainstorm, because then, I mean, you will... Yeah, you can brainstorm, but then you can fetch in your Arc I suppose. Yeah, in, in, in So fact. it fetches in response. 
Yeah. So now it's pretty clear he's not holding yeah. stifle. Then. Yeah. Yeah, because now if uh, if Roberto wants stifle, he have to fetch, and so losing the benefit of shuffling back with, with brainstorm. So Angelo, for that way, it it it, it play it fetched the turn. Did he did he really say that he's not gonna board in the cabal therapies? I don't know, but talking with him, it, it was uh, clear that uh, he doesn't like a cabal therapies. Maybe it's too intensive. He's smacking the table, like every time he puts cards back, he smacks the table. He's clearly unhappy. Yeah, he's gonna give you tells. Tells, tells, tells. Instead of the rock music, he's grinding his head. And also the toilet is calling. From the toilet. Double fetch. He came back from the toilet. He came back from the storm, but he cannot come back from the Argonauts. Anyway, Marchetti will be the clue character of this tournament. He's obvious. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't really understand what his game plan is. I mean, to be fair, he's literally he's playing a turn 3 Pyromancer. I mean, this is yeah. his play. I mean, he didn't do anything on turn 1, he didn't do anything on turn 2. And on turn three, is just literally dropping a pyromancer into play. Don't be, don't be silly, yeah, David. Don't be critical against our Roberto because ponder of Roberto now. He's got a da force of will, days force of will, and a, and a death right shaman in hand. And he's pondering seeing. Couple of blue cards? That's a stifle. Stifle? Probes. Probe. 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 Probe on the top. Probe on the top. He doesn't. What? <laughs> wow. What? Wow. He didn't put probe on top? But that would be an extra 1 1. Yeah. I mean, he put probe as the last card. Yeah. So he's, 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 he's just missed on an extra 1 1. Definitely. But why? But why? But why? Here it is. But why? And now he's got to defend me, Perlman. What is he's my life? But why? Again, again, same error. He didn't defend the Viral Lancer, he didn't probe. Yeah, he's, he, hasn't, he hasn't learned from his, his mistakes in, uh, in Swiss. He's done exactly the same thing. Same thing, same error. Not defending the Pyromancer, not playing the probe. He could play a probe, if he could see another card, he could have another token. No, he prefers to stick to a plan to trying to force a will something after. Clearly doesn't know how to face Miracle, but still, he's got a token. He's got a 1-1 one, one beat down. <laughs> so now Roberto still missing the plan, um, letting Angelo developing his, his game plan made of manipulations and putting basic lands and basically Angelo do does what the deck does, is, is Roberto it is not doing what his deck has got to do. Yeah, I mean, Cadet is, to to is un uh, absolutely, answer, absolutely un not under pressure. I mean, yeah. he can literally develop his game plan, you know, playing all his basic lands and fetching. Yeah, his deck is about and his stifles, down the you know. At some point, he will just have like five basic lands in play and he will just, you know, do, a and win. do what he has to do. Okay, so now Roberto. Uh, he draws a scalding turn, puts Angelo to 17. Maybe he's got a Detroit Shaman? Yeah. Ok, 
Okay. Yep. Top deck of terminus here. He didn't have. He didn't knew. Good top deck about that. Yeah, Yeah, we're arguing about the fact that uh, Angelo draw Terminus as a miracle, and if uh, Roberto is going is want to stifle, uh, uh, Angelo is not is not going to pay the cost because if he stifles the miracle, you can uh, Robert, Angelo can can pay the cost. So since Roberto said to Angelo pay the cost, is is like he said okay resolved. Trigger the miracle trigger is already resolved. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah, so because he can't stifle anymore. Yeah. If you let, if you say to Angelo, okay, pay the cost, you are saying that the trigger of miracle resolves, and you and you can counter, but you cannot stifle. Now he's he's gonna he's gonna try to coming back. Okay, so stifle uh, my terminus resolves. Your Roberto. Now all of a sudden it was the uh, Gitaxian probably should have played like three turns ago. Yeah. The fame of Gitaxian probably have to play five turns ago. But here that terminus. Mm, I don't know if it changed a lot. Oh, the therapy. <laughs> it does have a therapy. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Now it <laughs> he's got a, and now a cabal therapy in hand. He passes the turn, I think. Uh, he's explaining why he's, he ex he's explaining why one uh, we weren't able to manage the terminal situation. Uh, uh, judges on the table. Judges at the table uh, trying to figure out what happened and before. Uh, I think the situation is quite clear. Um, in the moment in which Roberto says to Angelo, "Okay, pay the cost," he's saying, "Okay, the miracle resolves," and I'm thinking if I force will or if, or if I can't spell a miracle. But the miracle in, in the moment you say, "Okay, pay the cost," you're saying, "Okay, resolves." You cannot stifle back. So uh, basically, it's quite easy to, to reconstruct this. I think, this I think, I think what, what happened, uh, what happened <laughs> after <laughs> that. Um, I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think they revealed the terminus, and then he didn't play a land drop, and then passed the turn, and Marchetti drew and played the taxon pro. I think that's what yeah. happened. Because if you look at Cadet's hand, it does have a land which he didn't play. Um, so he, 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 he kind of. He had a volcanic island, but I think he didn't play it because of wasteland. It was a conscious decision not to play it. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. So why did I stop the game? I think they are still investigating on the Terminus thing. Still? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but anyway, what which investigation is Kadai decided not to play a land is, is, is his business. I don't yeah, know, exactly. maybe, you maybe just... It's not something you, you yeah, should, you I mean, you want to... No, you would investigate if your opponent just threw a card in your turn. I mean, maybe he didn't say go. Maybe just didn't say ah, go, okay. and the other guy just, you know, just threw and played. Ah, maybe you know, Angelo played. didn't say go, yeah. okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. 
Isangelo per dire se go. Non so cosa sia successo, ma c'è per questa dieci. Sleeves and single cards. Check our Magic Card Market account for more information. Prepare yourself for the battle with Magic Boosters, Binders, Sleeves and single cards. Check our Magic Card Market account for more information. Yeah, there's just an investigation going on which is not related to this game, and that's why we had to stop the finals. Um, of the, we, we, we cannot say much more about this, but um, it's related to some games that we haven't seen on stream and the investigation is going on, so we will just gonna get back there as soon as there is a... So uh, our San Girolamo Caravaggio Cadet is uh, be investigated and Marchetti is gonna fetch in his, his cell phone some messages from his uh, vast group of admirators and people who are learning how to play Dixie Delver from him. So, about this game, usual thing, uh, my, uh, we are tired to say it, the plan of the deck is to play, put the, the Pyromancer in play and then do everything to protect the Pyromancer and create tokens. Stop. There's no other plan for that deck. It doesn't have yeah. a backup plan, it we doesn't can see, have a chase. We can see uh, Marchetti looking for some Tinder matches <laughs> during the final. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he thinks he is that yeah, if you don't right, pro swiping he, right, swiping if you, left, if you, if you don't swiping pro left, I like that one, I don't, if I you don't, don't like protect, If you don't protect the Pyromancer, um, the other creatures you have are one for one. I mean, the Delver, Angelo can deal with the Delver in any moment. We, he can decide which, to, which time and which turn kill the Delver. Instead, the Pyromancer can, I mean, yeah, I mean, the can, can never there's only there's only one way to deal with a pyromancer, which is a terminus. Yeah, and especially if you play a pyromancer properly with, uh, yeah. you know, all your Gitaxan probes and cabal and therapy. And you have stifle, therapy. you have stifle, yeah. you have counters by the terminus. So, your plan is to put a pyromancer and try to protect him at all cost. Then, if you don't succeed in his plan, you do, you lose. But you cannot <laughs> let resolve a, a removal on a pyromancer with two force will and. Just to keep Force Will for a second moment in which Angel will play Jace, you play Force Will, you can it count, counter spell, and Jace resolves. Because Definitely. you cannot opt to stay there and hope to counter the entry the Angel or the Jace or whatever. Yeah, you just kind of sit back. Because obviously, like, Miracle spells are just so much better than your spells. Yeah. You're playing a bunch of 1 1s and 2 1s and 3 2s and a bunch of cards that don't really do anything. When your and opponent is playing Wrath of Gods, and, you know, one mana Wrath of Gods, yeah. and you know, an enchantment that basically counters every single one of your spells. So, yeah. Okay. So, Angelo is back. He's. Uh, no, he's gonna. We don't gonna play it all. The game is not. No, the game is not. Angelo is we haven't resumed the game yet, we're still trying to understand what's going on. Mm. I think the judge are deciding something. <coughs> Quick look at the chat. <laughs>
So, the investigation is going on. I think that the judges are taking a decision, um, and we can soon um, have news about it. Back live. Um, investigation still ongoing. Uh, and how can you say if, as my as my concern, um, if the investigation doesn't show up something or say something about the game, I think uh, we gonna we gonna over in. I think that Angelo is is in a good shape to win. Two zero and giving the end of the tournament, but I don't know. Um, as we said before, um, the, the, the matchup is it's quite predictable. I mean, um, it is. If you don't stick to your plan, um, you don't have opportunity to, to beat Miracle. Otherwise, you get particularly unlucky, particularly. Uh, short of mana, long of mana, there's no opportunity for for dealing with, I mean, one by one by one. You don't have any card advantage card, you don't have treasure cruise, and you don't have nothing that sweeps the game. And yeah. Yeah, mm, some version of Grixis Delver playing Painful Truth uh, that can, in, in effect, can can boost uh, the strategy and try to, to find a way to, uh, to, 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 to 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 give the deck some some full. But the thing is that the deck, as um, I mean, as I told before in the, uh, this morning. Um, the legacy has always been a format of one card for one card. Uh, the strong thing of this deck is around the Cabal Therapy and the Probe and the, and the Tokens and the Flashback of Therapy. This is the interaction that gives you uh, cards and uh, card advantage and discard possibility and you can disrupt the end of your opponent simply using the token of a pyromancer so if you if you give away this interaction with the therapy and the probes you basically give up the strategy of the deck putting him uh, uh, making him come an agro control deck a normal agro control deck at that at that and that that point is fair better than the tempo deck with uh, blue the team america or, or the delver the classic delver deck at that at that point if you if you give up the strategy with uh, the therapy of the pyromancer and the, and the pro, so I mean it's not only a, a question of, of of matchup; it's also a question of build of the deck of Roberto. That is is not built. Uh, I mean it can be built. Okay, it's, it's not built around. Um, I mean how can I say? Um, It's, it's a deck that can perform better maybe against Storm with the Daisies and the Stifles, but it's very, very unfavorite against uh, Miracle and, and uh, mid-game mid ga mid uh, decks. Now, as you see, Angelo is gonna... <sighs> he's 
back, called back by the judges. So... David Besso back to the booth now just for a quick update um, the investigation going on doesn't uh, involve this final match um, it regards something happened in the semi-finals that we didn't cover because they were not on video um, that's, that's as far as we are concerned so we just have to wait Yeah, for everybody, just um, for everybody who uh, just joined us in the streaming right now, um, we are in the finals. Kada is leading one one nil. Um, but all of a sudden an investigation took place uh, and the investigation was regarding the semi-finals um, apparently, allegedly. We're still unsure what's going on. To be honest with you, this situation is disrupting anyway. I mean, whatever happens, uh, if if anybody gets disqualified from the tournament or you know or worse, 
or gets or, or maybe gets a game loss or a match loss or something I mean this is disrupting anyway I mean if you're either player and you're just being sitting around waiting or you know having to face an investigation for uh, 10 15 20 minutes and then you have to come back to your game of magic I mean it's it's not ideal definitely not ideal either way Imagine you're coming back after 20 minutes of being questioned by judges. I mean, you're definitely not happy, are you? Also, the bags under my eyes are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And my beard is growing every minute. Hello, people. So, David, uh, what can, can we say about the series? All the other, uh, I mean, the other stages. Uh, we will be in Portugal, in Porto, in April. So right, yeah. As I, as I said earlier, for uh, the ones joining right now, um, the series are composed of, uh, you know, five dates. Um, we're going to be well. We're playing in Milan tomorrow as well. Uh, that's the last tournament in Modern, and we're going to be in Porto, Paris. Uh, Barcelona and Prague. Every single stop has four tournaments. We're gonna probably gonna have uh, standard and vintage on Friday. Um, we're gonna have legacy on Saturday and and modern on Sunday, unless something changes. Because obviously the numbers has, haven't been great on a Friday, so yeah. maybe that needs to be rearranged. Maybe there's a better way to organize those. Um, but every single every single major tournament will. Uh, will allow the winner to get um, a flight ticket and the buy-in for a Star City game invitation, which is, I mean, it's obviously it's obviously better than the average tournament in which you just win some, you know, uh, ticket for something or something.